many times and there are so many options when it comes to the nightshade and there's even a mini version i'm hoping that they'll do an xl version uh one of these days so hopefully we do see that coming so anyways i know you guys have seen the the nightshade but have you seen the vosteed morel it has a similar style to the nightshade but there's a lot of differences so let's go through them one this has solid aluminum hand well they're mostly solid. They do have steel liners on the inside that are inset, it, you know, so you can't really see them very well. And it has thick aluminum handles. So it feels like a solid aluminum handle. You know, the, the steel liners, you know, help with the mechanism and everything in there. They didn't have to do full ones, you know, but they did. Anyways, um, so it is solid aluminum with a backspacer that's also made out of aluminum. I really like this backspacer. Um, they put the nice jimping on there. Now, the blade, it has a similar leaf shaped style blade, except for it doesn't have as much belly. So it might potentially be a little bit better for utility cuts and things like that um, when you turn it around because the handle is straighter as well, because you know the nightshade kind of curves. This one's a bit straighter. So it might be a little bit more ergonomic for some people, especially in certain grips. Um, you know, just because it's more neutral. Now, the blade steals N690 on this leaf-shaped blade, and it has a dual grind. So we have a thinner section up here, a little bit thicker back here, maybe for like, um, you know, whittling wood or feather sticking and things like that. Um, it does have a deep carry clip that's inset with flat screws. Vosti does a really good job with their uh, clips and you know, they're super smooth in and out of the pocket. And I also like that it is lefty friendly because it does have a reversible clip and a replacement plate to, you know, protect the holes. So really awesome there. Now the action, the action, it has a crossbar lock, which we know crossbar locks are extremely strong. There's a reason why so many knives are using them, especially tough knives, because it is a tough lock. Now, because of the aluminum handles, it is super solid. No flex, no nothing. I love that. I love when I can grab a knife and check it and I don't get flex nowhere. It's just every direction is just rock solid. Love to see that while being false shot. So you can tell the tolerances are there and it's very smooth. It is riding on ceramic caged bearings. The crossbar lock is easy to grip and it does have a little bit of traction on it. So very smooth on the drop. Then you have these little chamfers on the sides. So you get down to this hole deployment, which the reverse flick works really good. The thumb flick is also good, but the reverse flick's probably a little bit better. Um, you can obviously use a right or left-handed. Now, as far as the action goes, really good action. Um, the hole's a little bit tight in there, but it's not bad at all. You see, I'm sitting here doing it, no problems. Um, it, it's good action. Uh, but, you know, they are sunk in there just a little bit, so you only get, you know, the partial bit of the hole. Um, the aluminum handle has this traction on there, which is nice and deep, and it does offer, you know, some texturing. Um, stop pin, decent size stop pin, and, you know, all in all, awesome knife. There is quite a few differences, though, like the one, like I said, straighter edge, straighter handle, dual grind. Um, as far as nitpicks go, like if I was going to nitpick anything, there's not a lot here because they did a decent plunge grind. You could sharpen all the way back. I don't know if it necessarily needed a dual grind. I've never personally seen a time when a dual grind came in, at least this kind, where it was thinner up here and thicker back here. I've never seen that really come into play where I was like, thankful I had thicker geometry right here. You know, like I said, maybe for feather sticking and things, but even then I think this section right here would do it just fine as well. You know, it's not like it's like crazy thin right here. Yes, it's nice and slicey, but it'll do just fine in wood. So I would prefer if it was just plain edge straight back, but it does offer some style though. It offers a unique look and it looks cool. So I don't hate it. And you know, there are times where I wish it wasn't there. You know, not on this knife, but I'm just saying I, I there's some knives that I wish didn't have it. This is not one of them. This is fine. You know, it does offer a little bit of style, a little bit of differences from, you know, the nightshade. Um, but I just don't think it's going to be functional. Let's just say that. Uh, it's mostly style. The next thing um, for nitpicks is back here, this corner, it's, a, it's not sharp, but when I put it in my palm right here, I can feel the corners. Like I said, it's not sharp, it's not bad, but you can see, you know, it, it's got a little tiny bit of an edge and I feel it. So is it a big deal? Nah, not really, but you know, I'm calling it as I see it. 
Uh, but other than that, all in all, you know, maybe they could have added bigger chamfers right here to get down to the hole easier, but I can easily get to it. So maybe if you have like really stubby, thick fingers, it might be a little bit more difficult for you, uh, but I don't know, you know, I don't have those fingers. Uh, I'm just guessing. I have no problems with it. I have large hands. So I, you know, I don't know. Um, all in all though, super solid. Uh, feels really good, feels like good quality. Now, as far as the blade steel, N690, what is N690? So N690, I always compare it to like 10CR. That's what it always reminds me of in use. When I sharpen it, when I, I just, all around, that's basically what it reminds me of personally. It's supposed to be somewhere in between like 10CR and 154 CM. Um, so, you know, good stainless, um, good stainless steel. It holds a decent edge. It's very easy to sharpen. It is considered a uh, mid-grade steel. So yeah, um, no problems with that. Um, some people might prefer 154 CM, but you know, that, that's debatable. Uh, I personally, you know, I, I like 10 CR. I like 154. I don't mind N690. Um, so all in all, yeah, rock solid knife. And you know, I I, uh, I always like to see what Vostine's coming out with. They're doing a really good job and I'm sure we're gonna see a lot more designs coming from them in the future uh, because they are, you know, they came in swinging. They definitely did. So they are, uh, they, they seem like they're here to stay. So let's, uh, let's see what happens in the future. Hopefully we get an XL version. That would be awesome. I thought this was actually an XL. I did. When I seen the pictures, I didn't even look at the specs. I was like, oh man, it's it, basically a large nightshade. That's what I was thinking. Uh, but it wound up being the same size. It, it's still cool though. You know, I'm not saying anything bad. I'm just saying what I thought. So work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.